Hey, welcome back to the Caribou Data Science channel. I'm going to do a very quick walkthrough of uh, how to install uh, Tiny Core Plus Linux. Now, I need to caution you about this. This is a massive 165, 170 megabyte download. So make sure you have plenty of bandwidth and plenty of hard drive space. We're going to be installing this into a 15 gigabyte hard drive space. We'll assign it at 8 gigabytes of RAM. And, and two of our four of our four processors. Okay, so we're going to begin by creating new. Tony Core Plus. We're going to pick our ISO. You can find the ISO by searching for Tony Core Linux on, on on your favorite web browser. Okay. I just can't. Tur my goodness, I haven't heard, I haven't heard Turbo Linux in years. Let's just say Ubuntu 64. Go over here again. Processors, let's, let's go with four processors. Next, that's a uh, free allocated space. And 15 is a little bit, 25 is a little bit much. Just give it 15 gigawatts. Now it's going to start to load this here. Okay, we're, we're going to try to get a little funky. We're actually go, we're actually going to use what could be the older version of, of a Linux, uh, older version, older desktop. Okay. Now previously I tried to install i3 Tally Window Manager on here, but I couldn't get it to recognize any of the keys. Okay. Now, I want to try to keep this fairly short, uh, just to get you up and running. I, I came up with, with a hot tip over here explaining how to install Firefox on Tiny Core. Uh, it has to do with, with, this, with the app button. You say install apps. Then it gives you a standard window manager type of, uh, a standard sort of app installer type of uh, GUI we're, we're used to thinking here, okay? So did we... Uh, did we install our core, right? Yes, okay, good. So now you do, you do a uh, start. Now, there's basically three, ways, three things we want to try to install at this one. We want to try to install Git. We want to install a web browser. And we want to try to install uh, GNU plot. GNU uh, plot. Uh, let's see some hacker box, open box. We tried this. Uh, I wonder what that one actually does. The boot core and only XGUI tiny core. Okay. Uh, we so we tried open box. Let's try FLBW classic. I don't know what that one does for us. Now, a way this is, uh, runs out of the box is intended to run as a uh, as, as, as just in memory. You just load it into memory, and that's how you run it. But the good news is you, you don't need a lot of space, okay, to do data analytics, and you don't need a lot of tools, okay? You, all you need is basically VI or VIM. So you come down here now. Do an install. We'll take that hard. Now the, the, the mouse is a little flaky generally when you uh, when you're running it during the install process. Install the boot AXD4. Uh, let's, see. let's do this. Let's do this. Go over here. Proceed. Now don't blink or you'll miss the installation process. Okay. Now there's, now, there's two ways to install uh, 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 code on, uh, install media on. You, you can use the TCE, what's it called? Install, TCE load, or you can use the load. Uh, see, installa <laughs> installation's complete, okay? 
Oh, look at this. You got you got the icons over here. That's interesting. Let's close that. Let's come back over here now. Let's do a shutdown. Now you come over, you shut down, and you and you and you unmount and you unmount the ISO file. Then you then you then you boot it again. So let's go over here now. Oh, well, one thing you want to do in terms of uh, let's, let's, let's uninstall this. One thing I found is that coming over to network, changing the network to bridged adapter helps helps the, helps the network speed quite a bit. Let's change this to scaled mode. So this, this gets rid of the border. Come over here. Come over here. Let's move this up. Can you see this okay now? Okay, so now we got this. First we'll bring up a terminal. Hmm. So here's a terminal. So first we're going to do some command line installations here. Then we're going to do the app installations. Oh man. There. So we're going to do TCE dash load dash wi dash get okay Now, things we wanted to install, we, we want to try to install a web browser, Firefox, and we want, we want to try to install so, uh, GNU Plot. And that'll give us our basic data analytics setup to start out with, okay? Yeah, I realize you guys want to jump into Python, but you know what? You can never have enough tools in your system, okay? Well, by the way, I hope you appreciate my new webcam. This, is a, this new webcam is actually a... Uh, <laughs> is actually a uh, a Pixel 2 or 2E, 2A, which, which one it is, and I, I'm just using the, the Droid OBS cam with it. Okay, okay, good. So, what about it? It has been, but is it a VIM? Yeah. This way, this way I can use, this way I can be consistent between my various, uh, between my various things here, okay? Now, you can install Python separately and Perl separately. You can do you can do you know you can do this install function with Python three, and of course you can install Perl whatever version, Perl. but it doesn't have either Python or Perl installed. So now what we're doing is just installing GBIM. By the way, is a is a GUI interface type of type of thing. I tried to get i3 tally manager to work on this once, but I, could, I couldn't get the, uh, the T combinations to work. Now we could, of course, load uh, i3, right, and then go and try to look at the config file and see exactly what's going on out there. But let's just start with this right here. So does VI now mean VIM? And we're going to make two quick changes to the VMRC file in a home directory. We're going to add sh uh, show mode and show, show match. So we got VMRC uh, set show mode, set show 
So show motor just give us what's down at the bottom. It, it, the motor in it's insert and show mo and show match shows matching brackets and stuff like that. Okay. You can actually do a show number, but we're not going to do that right now. All right, now I'll come over here. Apps, yes. No, but to be honest, at some point, uh, okay, the fastest mirror was found. Got it. So now, now this should, if you use other window managers, this should look familiar, okay? So let's kind of put search. Unless it's interesting. Okay, good. So let's do. Let's see. A new search. Chromium browser, there we go. So now it's installing there. And we're really close we're really close to getting productive here, okay? BSD. So hopefully we'll get a, a chromium icon at the bottom here. I tried some of the other lot of ones like the, uh, like uh, Net, net surf and uh, and and the screen didn't size right. And I, for instance, I couldn't see the uh, the login screen for GitHub. I probably could try to move the light over here so let's just let's just try let's just try to move on our light to the other side see how see how, so this see how many, how many seconds this this uh there how's that but let's let's turn the light down a little bit okay there, that makes me look. That makes me like five minutes younger, right? So now it's actually installing the Chromium browser. This is sort of the classic uh, three quarters light. There's our icon. So what we're going to do next, let's search for, okay, now this will be a little funky on us here. Don't quite know why. Okay. So this is this is getting a little crazy on us here.
Okay. okay. And with that, because my battery's running out, we'll go ahead and bring this quick session to a close. We're actually right where we need to be, except for maybe one other thing. The trouble is, I can't. There we go. Let's try this. So there doesn't seem to be a uh, GNU plot available. So that's a subject for another time. Uh, we need to do one more thing. Because what, uh, what it does is it, it doesn't actually save the files you install to your to your to your uh, to your to your, to your disk, okay, to the virtual disk. So if you reboot the system without doing this uh, file school, you wind up without any without uh, without uh, you wind up, you wind up without uh, you have to go back and reinstall your thing. So we install v, we install Vim, we install Git, we install a, a new web browser. So I'm going to bring this this one here this here quickly to a close, and I will be back at a later time to work to work on this again.